yes you're welcome guys so this is the part two of getting data from cargo api and writing the data set into sql database now in part one if you are yet to watch the part one you need to go and watch it so this is the part two uh so from the part one we read in an energy data set uh which is the pgm load our the csv which we got from cargo using the cargo api so right now that i've downloaded the data set locally on my system and right here in my jupyter notebook i'm going to read it in using pd.read underscore csv so let me get that done so i'm going to run the code and right here you can see okay so you can see this is the data set that we saw in part one so right here in my jupyter notebook so you can see the structure of the data set so this is the date time while this is the load in megawatts of electricity okay so right now i want to uh work with sql database and i'm going to do it in jupyter notebook here where i'm going to show you how to create a database and how to write this data you know into a database so as a data scientist you need to know how to work with sql or what is called sql and you need to uh, know how to create a database and store your data into a database uh, because data will not always be stored at a csv file uh it's preferable as a data scientist in an organized setting to have your data in a database rather than as a csv file on your local computer okay so in order to follow the professional practice and the preferred method uh used by every professional data scientist so i'm going to write this data set into sql database where i can have it stored and i can so that is what i'm going to do now and uh, in this course you are going to learn how to create sql database and how to load your data into a database and how to store it there and how to query the data using uh sql you know sql yeah so let's go ahead and do that so right now i'm going to write this data set into sql database and query it for you using sql so you are going to learn as i said how to create sql database and query it with sql and the data that i want to write into an sql database is this data which i got from cargo in the part one of this course so let's go ahead and do that and the sql database i'm interested in or which i'm going to use for this course is the sql lights now we have different kinds of sql database we have my sql we have microsoft sql server we have mongodb we have mariadb you know and a lot of them okay so but uh, a very easy one that can be used uh is the sql light especially for this course okay and to make things really fast and um you know straight straightforward okay so here uh i have the sql light which is a kind of sql database and is very very popular you know it's an in-process library that implement a self-contained serverless zero configuration transactional sql database engine okay so we're going to use the sql light as our database engine for the sql light you don't need to set up any server uh you need zero configuration so that is why i said it's quite uh fast uh straightforward for us uh for the stacks okay so sql light is a database and it's a single compact file uh which means uh it can be used uh easily and the sqlite is a good database and is widely used in cell phones in televisions game console 
appliances, machine tools, and is widely used, uh, you know, in data science. So SQLite is one of the most popular SQL database uh, used up to now. Okay, so uh, let's see how to use the SQLite database. So, no, so in order to use the database, you are going to download the SQLite tree to be precise and this is the web uh, page that you're going to navigate to uh, to do that and you can see options there for windows or for mac okay and you can just download it and follow the instruction to install it uh it's quite straightforward to do that okay so the next thing uh, i'm going to do here is to use the import to import sqlite tree here in my Jupyter notebook so this is python okay so i'm going to import sqlite tree here and sqlite tree uh, is a package that provides different functionalities to work with the sqlite database so i'm going to do that here by importing sqlite tree so so i've done that so the next thing i'm going to do is to create a database which i call um abc abc energy db yeah abc energy db so in order to use sqlite 3 of course there are some syntax you know that um you're going to use so here i have sqlite 3 dot connect and you can see the name of the new database i'm creating so that new database will be stored as db underscore connect so i'm going to run this to do that and it's done so the next thing i'm going to do is to um create a cursor that will allow me to execute sql queries against a database so here i have db underscore connect which is the new database i created here which is an sql light database so i'm going to add in syntax dot cursor and this will allow me to create a cursor now you need a cursor in order to execute sql queries right here in jupyter notebook so i'm going to run this to do that so the next thing i'm going to do is to create a table which i will call energy table in the database so i'm going to use the cursor right from now so i'm going to use the cursor here and dot execute okay cursor dot execute and i'm going to write an sql syntax or query that says create table if not exists energy table and in order to create the structure of the table i'm going to use sql syntax also to do that so as you can see here i have the column of the table which is date time in order to align with the data set which i want to store in this database you still remember our raw data sets let me take you back to view it so this is our raw data set so i'm going to create a column date time and i'm also going to create another column pgm underscore load underscore mw so this is the same table i'm going to create inside my sql database so that whenever i'm reading this data set into the table it will align well with the table in the database so let's go ahead and continue with that so here i'm going to create a date time column as we have it in the raw uh, csv data and this date time column will be a date time uh, column type and it will be not known and it will be a primary key and i'm also going to create another column which must align with our raw data which will be called pgm underscore load underscore mw and the column will contain integer values now this syntax or this code is for sql okay so you must be familiar with sql syntax in order to understand what is going on here this course is not about teaching you from the ground up sql programming language 
you need to have a basic knowledge of SQL in order to understand this syntax but what it simply says is that I'm going to create a column date time and the column will be a date time uh, type which means it will contain only date time values and those values will be primary keys which means they cannot be missing and I will also have another column which is the load what and it will be a column to contain our integer values for the load what and right here the first set of statements we execute the creation of the table which is the energy table which will be stored inside the database now i'm going to run this to do that and it's already done so the next thing here is to show all the tables in the newly created sql database now you know i've created the energy table right here so right here i'm going to fetch using the core.fetch all and of course the first statement here is to select the name of every table and order them by name in the database so i'm going to print the result out here to see and right here you can see i have my first table which is the energy table created already in the sql database which i created the name of the sql database again from here is the abc energy db of course which we store as db underscore connect now just as i said you must have a basic knowledge of sql programming now let's go ahead and see so right here i'm now going to store my energy data into the sql-like database in order to do that i'm going to make use of pandas so pandas will allow me to run sql query and it will also allow me to save my data into sql database now pandas has some functionalities to interact with sql database and that is why i'm importing it and it's going to allow me to do a lot of things which you will see so i'm going to import pandas as pd so in this next set i will now read in the energy data into the sql database that means i'm going to store our raw energy data which we know by now into an sql database precisely into the energy table in the sqlite database now this is the name of our raw energy data so i have energy dot two underscore sql now this is the name of the table in our sqlite database the name of our sqlite sqlite database is db underscore connect if it's already existing that is the table is going to replace it but right now we are reading the table afresh as you know so this will read in our raw energy data into the energy table in our db connect sqlite database so i'm going to read this in right now so i've run this cell and the energy data has been read finally into an sqlite database table which is called energy table which we created earlier now in order to confirm that my data has been housed in a table in the sqlite database i'm going to query it using sql query with the help of pandas right now i you can see right here i'm going to query the sql table using python pandas data frame and i'm going to view the latest energy inflow right now i have the name of uh the table which i want to query the data into right here on jupyter notebook so i call it latest energy so i'm going to use pandas read sql functionality to do that so i'm going to write a simple sql statement 
in order to get that done select all so the asterisk means all from the energy table limit by 10 then db connect is the name of the database i'm querying so this will read in the latest energy data for us using pandas read underscore sql underscore query functionality right now i will just run it and here i can view the latest energy inflow by simply calling the name of the data which i have queried out from the energy table in the database as you see this data is not uh, read in from a csv file it was read in using sql especially querying our energy table that we have in our sqlite database so in this course i have successfully read and store our cargo data set in our sqlite database for future use for our data science projects i have also queried it back into my jupyter notebook from our energy table in the sqlite database so i hope you enjoyed this course and i hope you have learned how to create a database and how to store your data in a database and how to come back again and query your sql database thank you and see you next time